the US Army has selected Dextrans Bell to construct the future long-range assault aircraft the largest helicopter purchase made by the service in the last 40 years. Around 2030, the $1.3 billion order for the next generation chopper is expected to replace about 2,000 Black Hawk utility helicopters and about 1,200 Apache combat helicopters. Will this take over the functions of the Black Hawk and Apache which have long been the Army's mainstays for transporting troops to and around the battlefield? You just landed on the right video. Welcome back to another episode of high technology join the club as we unravel high-end technologies on the planet by subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss any exciting videos in the future in this video let's take a closer look at what the u.s army is up to with testing helicopters we've never seen before Helicopters have been a mainstay for troop and equipment movement both on the battlefield and during routine operations since the 1940s. Since the late 1970s, the Sikorsky UH-60 Black Hawk twin-engine military helicopter has been in use. The 50-foot-long fuselage of the Black Hawk allows it to go at almost 200 miles per hour. The Black Hawk, which is renowned for its adaptability and 9,000-pound carrying capacity, can securely move 11 seated soldiers into and out of a battle zone, depending on the demands of the mission, it can be fitted with a variety of rockets, missiles, and other weaponry. The US military has been looking for new applications for helicopters of all sizes and types recently. As a result, new partnerships and innovative designs such as the Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant have emerged. Although it is still in the development stage, it appears likely that this compound medium lift helicopter will participate in the next stage of the United States Army's vertical lift program. This is a plan to replace outdated helicopter types like the AH-64 Apache, CH-47 Chinook, and even Black Hawk with a new family of helicopters that share similar hardware. The Defiant's distinctive pusher motor architecture allows for a cruise speed of 280 miles per hour. In high temperature hover situations, this will also provide a 50% performance improvement. The SB-1's defying height and speed and maneuverability are just two of its unique qualities, which have been demonstrated in flight tests. The helicopter's coastal rotors are working rolling in opposite directions as they get ready for yet another display. Its external load capacities are currently estimated to be around 5,300 pounds, and both hovering and forward flight are quite smooth. The ability of the helicopter to land and take off in relatively small areas is perhaps its most astounding trait. This ability will come in very handy when it starts to support frontline operations. Other testing support the SB-1's capability to break quickly when necessary and bank up to 60 degrees. Additionally, it has conducted tests with only one working rotor. The Defiant DAX did its maiden speed test on January 13, 2020, and for the first time, it exceeded 115 miles per hour. Later tests would easily see it more than double this rate of speed. The Defiants can use new evasive techniques in the field thanks to this video's great up-close look of its low-level agility. The US military has great faith in the tilt rotor V-22 Osprey when it comes to swiftly transporting personnel and car cargo between locations. The Osprey is a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that can operate as both a helicopter and an airplane. It is the outcome of a partnership between Bell and Boeing. The MV-22 which combines the utility of a traditional helicopter with the range and speed of a turboprop aircraft is undoubtedly one of the most adaptable aircraft in use. The Osprey which is about 57 feet long can transport 32 soldiers at once. It is also capable of externally carrying up to 15,000 pounds and internally carrying up to 20,000 pounds. The Osprey's capacity to travel at top speeds of 350 miles per hour is arguably its most significant feature. Recently, Bell and Lockheed Martin started working together on a new tilt rotor aircraft that may someday fly alongside and replace the V-22. Similar to the SB-1 Defiant, it has been given the name the V-280 Valor and is also a component of the future vertical lift program. The Valor took to the skies for the first time in December 2017 and has since proven to have highly great capability for combat. The V-280 has a cruise speed of about 320 miles per hour and is about the same size as the Osprey. The same company put a lot of expertise into designing the Valor, a second generation tilt rotor aircraft more adaptable, nimble, and able to quickly change to different mission types. The range and hovering ceiling of the Valor are both greater. The V-280's extensive modularity and ability to fold down small enough to fit into a C-130 
130 cargo compartment may be its most significant feature. Even though the business that is creating the V-20 has a long history of giving the military aircraft, the V-280 prototype has gone through rigorous testing to ensure that it is the correct tool for the task for the military requires it to carry out. As the aircraft is being tested, a rifle squad from the 2506th Infantry 3rd Brigade Combat Unit can be seen giving designers input. Although the V280 can only hold roughly 14 soldiers, Bell and Lockheed Martin are eager to address issues now rather than having to change their design in the future. Such programs give the engineers direct feedback on how to improve or modify the aircraft from the actual soldiers and maintenance personnel. The Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion is the largest helicopter currently used used by the American military. This enormous heavy lift aircraft which was first unveiled in 2015 is the most recent iteration of the CH-53 series, which has been operational in some capacity since the late 1960s. The 73-foot long fuselage of the King Stallion can accommodate up to 30 passengers or soldiers. It can support up to 25,000 pounds using its fore and aft hooks properly or up to 36,000 pounds with its center tow hook. Despite having a modest 200 miles per hour cruise speed, it offers a long range of about 530 miles and a service ceiling of about 16,000 feet. Humvees and other tactical vehicles can be transported from one location to another quickly and effectively because of the King Stallion's superior freight carrying skills. In order to further extend its range and, if necessary, keep it in the fight longer, it also has the ability to refuel in mid-air. At Mountain Home Air Force Base in Idaho, maintenance and ground crews put forth a deliberate effort to keep helicopters helicopters like the Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion in peak working order because the fuselage engine and other components of these aircraft are frequently subjected to tremendous stress. It is crucial to spot and address any potential issues as soon as they arise. The aircraft's tails and rotors can be folded up to run parallel to the fuselage in order to save space. Helicopters are crucial to how contemporary military function regardless of how old they are or whether they are still being tested. These vertical aircraft can fly from even the most basic of places, unlike airplanes that need enough room to land and take off. They can transport troops from one location to another, move heavy equipment into the fray, and make several excursions to and from the battlefield as long as they have fuel and the crew. The first phase enables the army to carry out initial design before moving on to the creation and delivery of virtual prototypes. In 2030, when the army's future attack reconnaissance aircraft is scheduled to be fielded, future long-range assault aircraft are anticipated to join the fleet. Around 2030, the service intends to deploy FLRAA and FARA. By the end of 2023, the two teams creating the prototypes want to have them airborne. The improved turbine engine program's new engine for the Army is being delivered as each team's aircraft approaches completion. After a pandemic-related delay, the ITEP engines began their testing phase before delivery early this year. Due to additional supply chain and technical challenges, the Army recently announced that it will push back the delivery of the ITEP engines for the aircraft from the end of 2022 to the spring of 2023. Indeed, the new year is packed with great surprises and we could only expect better things for the US Army. And that's a wrap for today's video. Comment below your thoughts about this move from the US Army. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can always get to watch more incredible videos like this. This has been High Technology serving you the best in cutting edge content on the highest form of technology available on the planet. See you on the next one.